There was a PBA bowler who destroyed the cheetah pattern and posted a pretty ridiculous scoring record. That bowler was Eugene McCune. It was 2010 at the Cheetah Championship, which took place during the World Series of Bowling. McCune made the match play round in 14th place, with the top five making the TV show. It was this round that McCune would catch fire and posted an absolutely ridiculous set. His nine games were 300, 253, 275, 279, 279, 279, 236, 300, and 267 for a record total of 2,468 pins, which works out of an average of just over 274 per game. This easily broke the PBA nine game record of 2,367 pins, which was set by Walter Ray Williams Jr. in 2004, and McCune smashed this record by 101 pins. He also earned 270 bonus pins for a perfect 9-0 match play record and that meant that he jumped from 14th place to the number one position for a lead of 226 pins over Dick Allen who had been the tournament leader after qualifying. So now we head into the TV finals with McCune having easily secured the one seed. Let's quickly recap the other matches first though. Both of these players had won two PBA titles each. It was a little bit of a slow start for both of these players, but it was Haugen Jr. who eventually took control over the match, holding a 21-pin lead after eight frames. Lonnie did get pretty unlucky as he couldn't carry very well throughout the match, and a 10-pin leave in frame eight didn't help matters. Haugen struck in the ninth and struck again in the first shot in the tenth to seal the win. Next up in match two, Norm Duke stepped in and Duke was actually the defending champion in this event. There are a lot more strikes in the first half of this match with Duke going strike, spare, four in a row. Haugen was working on three strikes but then left back to back four pins. Norm continued to strike throwing another two to increase his lead to 33. Haugen did strike in the eighth and ninth but Norm could not be stopped shooting a 269 game. Now on to match three where Norm faced Dick Allen, the two seed. Allen's first shot completely misses the head pin, but he does make a very nice pickup. His next shot is better, but still comes up light and manages to avoid a split, leaving the two eight. Duke was having some issues with his approach by the looks of things, and his second frame ended in disaster as he went through the nose and left the four six. The cheetah pattern is typically very high scoring, but in this match, there were splits everywhere. Allen left back-to-back -back splits and Duke left a split of his own in the fifth. Both players managed to bounce back throwing a double each, but it was Norm who would prevail after getting away with it big time in the ninth when he threw the ball way inside but managed to trip everything out to make it four in a row. Another split from Allen in the ninth basically wrapped this one up, although he did make another very impressive conversion, sparing the 2-4-10. Now it's time for Eugene McCune to come in for the title match against Norm Duke. McCune had won his only PBA title in Grand Rapids uh, in 2002 when he defeated Norm Duke and Walter Ray in back-to-back -back matches at the Banquet Classic. Frame one and McCune blasts the pins away for an opening strike. I, I can't remember the last time a player has ever averaged 274 for nine games. Oh, uh, because it's never happened. Broke Walter Ray Williams Jr. record Shattered. by 101 pins. Yeah. Audacious. The last uh, performance I can recall like that was Bob Learn Jr. back in Erie, Pennsylvania. Television show, it was only for four games and Bob Learn averaged almost 280. And I'm glad you mentioned that, Randy, because I actually did a video not too long ago about Bob Learn Jr.'s incredible performance. And you can watch that on the link above. Now, Norm goes high in frame one, but then gets a strike in the second. McCune continues to throw it with some venom, getting a double, but then leaving a 10 pin. You can see he's throwing it so fast that he's often falling off the shot. But this hard and fast shot from the outside part of the lane is his A game and a shot he loves to play. So he's very comfortable playing this sort of shot. Norm then leaves a 10 pin of his own, but follows it up with a strike. In the fifth, McCune lost his balance completely and nearly left the 4-6 but was very fortunate to only leave the 4-pin. Norm struck on his next shot but then went very light leaving a 2-pin. So 
though at this point it's still anybody's match. Both players then throw a double and you can see that Norm is definitely giving it some and trying to keep the ball speed high. Of course it's not close to what McCune is doing but for Norm he's definitely up the speed. McCune then throws two nice shots for four in a row and a 20 pin lead. Now over to a Duke who strikes in the ninth and the first shot of the 10th. His next ball does go light once again and this has been a bit of a problem for Norm in this game but he makes the spare for a 237 game. Now McCune needs at least nine spare and then a strike to win. His first shot goes slightly high leaving the four pin but now he must strike to win the title. If he gets nine it will mean a roll off. As he steps up however there seems to be some distraction calls from the crowd so he backs off and resets. Somebody get that phone call? Eugene McCune. And there we have it, Eugene McCune is your winner and it was fully deserved after the fantastic display he put on during match play. Although the cheetah pattern is high scoring as I mentioned, Eugene just took this to a whole nother level and part of that was that this sort of shot, the hard and fast playing down the outside part of the lane, that is his favourite shot that he likes to play but even so, to average 274 and have two 300 games you know, just in nine games is absolutely insane. He tore this pattern up and I think it was fantastic that he actually managed to win um, in, in the final match as the one seed because it would have felt terrible to have bowled so well throughout and then it comes down to a one game shootout. So it was a fully deserved win and I think this definitely goes down as one of the best performances in the World Series of Bowling of all time. So that's going to bring us to an end of today's video. I'd just like to thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And if you've yet to subscribe and you have enjoyed what you've seen, I'd really appreciate it if you could click the subscribe button below. As always, I'd love to hear from you in the comment section below. Let me know what your best tournament block is. So whether that's a, a six game block or an eight game or a nine game block, uh, but let me know what your best block is of all time. And as always, thank you bowling fans and see you all next time.